Aquarius Aqua Gang what's happening so I'm trying to catch up on these readings that I missed y'all let's see I went on vacation for a week and I feel like I just abandoned y'all alright we're going to tap into the messages spirit may have for you Aquarius you can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus or north node alright Take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. Keep in mind, energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be as I give the conversation. If you would like a personal reading, click the description box below to book a personal reading or to sign up for EFA services or to get some of these classes. I have one more spot for the Spiritual Enlightenment course that starts next Thursday, June 29th. It's a one night a week, Thursday nights, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's 30-minute classes. Of course, may roll over with ants with questions that they may have, but yeah. One more slot, and then I am closing this uh, next class out. We have Ori classes. Make sure you sign up for Ori classes as well. Um, Arisha Determination, all types of stuff on, online, so make sure you check out the website. All right, so that's Retrograde energy with a full moon coming up. Mm -hmm. So you have pleasure, number 11. Okay, we don't break that down. You also have grief, number 29, also number 11. And you have harvest, right? Number 43 of the number 7. Mm. With sacred lust at the bottom of the deck. And soul forgiveness. Mm. Number 10, 28. So 8 and 10. Sacred lust and soul forgiveness. You could be wanting to be forgiven for cheating or, cheating, or your person wants forgiveness for che cheating. Or it could have been just something that you may have felt like with, with all of these beliefs on how you should carry yourself and the conduct you should have with your body. Maybe you're thinking about something like, oh my God, I've done this. I've slept with this person or whatever the case may be. And you're in your head in reference to that. Pleasure, grief, and harvest. Okay. What goes up must come down. Some of you guys could be pregnant or could be getting pregnant. But grief here is not really grief. I'm getting like. I'm not really getting like you being. Some of you guys could have lost a child, right? You could have been pregnant and lost a child. But I'm really getting like you move. You, you're learning how to deal with things. Some of you guys may want a child and can't get a child. Then you're going to find out that you're pregnant. I'm getting you learning how to deal with something. Could be a lot of people that really want a child. Let's clarify pleasure for the collective of a prayer spirit. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Temperance, King of Pentacles, in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Someone here needs to control your spending. You or the person you're dealing with. Four of Wands. And the Fool card. Where is energy judgment? 
Knight of Wands. Someone's not happy about the decisions that they have been making. Someone is like, like maybe you're spending money on things that you really don't need but that you want. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, okay, or Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here as well. Someone is trying to manifest financial prosperity. Someone's trying to manifest their finances to look a different way now. But it's just because you have a spending habit, you could have a shopping habit, you could spend on things that you don't need, but yet things that you want. Like it's one thing to not have it because you're investing in yourself and you're paying bills, but when you start to spend money that on things that you don't need and you're sitting back like, dang, why did I do that? Because it's easy to spend and then you look and you be like, man, I ain't got nothing left. Right? That's how fast it works. It's it's crazy. But someone's having issues with their finances. Queen of Cups here. You could be speaking with a mother figure. Right? On how to, to, to balance out yourself. How to get things realigned. I see you. I see you going in a different direction, though. Like taking a blind leap of faith and going for it. Like changing your ways. Realizing that you have to change your ways or that you need to change your ways. To be your person, also having a conversation with the mother figure in reference to how to regain stability in their life. Be mindful of your spending, Aquarius. Okay, let's clarify grief for the question of Aquarius. It takes a special kind of art to budget. Because there's so many things that we feel like we need, we want, but in actuality, we don't need we don't really need them. We want them. Or we feel like these that we have to do. It's like you have to come up with a plan and stick to it. So if you got money for work, that's your money for work. You're not you're not changing it, you're not spending it on anything else. If it's not about work, it's not happening, right? It takes a special talent. Because Aquarius is, you like to shop. You like to have what you want to have. And depending on what else you have in your chart, you could be a procrastinator. Feeling like you don't want to spend money on things that you have to. But rather you don't want to feel like you don't have money in your pocket. And then you'll, you'll turn around and end up broke. Mm-hmm. So there's someone feeling some type of grief in their life about you, I want to say, or you feeling this about them. Four of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. Someone is like no longer in their head. They want to make something happen, but they're trying to make the best decision. Maybe you, you know, you may not feel like you would be fulfilled emotionally within a relationship. Or you're cutting someone off and you're feeling away. Someone, or someone's cutting you off. Okay. And you're feeling away. There could be a breakup coming in here, whether you're choosing to not deal with someone or someone's choosing not to deal with you, Aquarius. So it's like, nope, I don't want this. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, let's clarify harvest for the collective spirit. I'm sorry. Harvest. Let's clarify harvest for Aquarius. are in your head about a relationship you want a relationship but it's not coming out the way that you think okay you may want to deal with a person a particular person but it's not excuse me a particular person may want to deal with you but it's not who you want to deal with you're like no nah, that's not who i want 
But you're not going to walk away. And I feel like you're going to ultimately become happy by not walking away from somebody. So the absence, a uh, person's absence makes the heart grow fonder. So it could really be an emperor trying to come out. It could be that after not talking to this person, it's a fire sign, y'all. Definitely a fire sign. Or a person that has fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They don't have to have it in their sun. But it's like you you felt as though you were getting over this person. We get a reading like this this week, right? More lessons to learn. It wasn't many of y'all that looked at that reading. So maybe want to go back and check out the reading this week on Aquarius channel. Uh, more lessons to learn with this person. Yeah, you went through a process of, no, that's not wish fulfillment. I'm not going to get the relationship that I want with this individual to, you know, not walking away. Like, no, I don't want to be in my head. I don't want to be by myself, however this may go. And offering some love to this person or them offering it to you, Tower in Reverse, King of Wands, Page of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity coming in with someone that wish fulfillment at one point was not there. But someone cannot walk away. Got the eight and the nine of cups and the two of cups here. Someone cannot walk away. Someone is trying to find a way to stick with someone. But Aquarius, I feel like you are the one who made this decision to say like, no, either, either you made the decision to say, Okay, I don't want this, or you were in your head about it, trying to make a decision. Should I cut this off? Should I go? And you said, oh, you know what? This isn't what I want. To turn around and say, okay, this is what I want. Very indecisive energy here. But you're not walking away because I don't think you like the fact that you're in your head so much at night. This person wants to offer you love. It's like, it's like, you walking away, they could not give you that offer. You didn't see them handing you their world. Heavy on the fire energy in your reading today. So towers in reverse. Whatever this was, it's like it's not it's not time for it to be over. Someone wants to rebuild what was once broken. They're coming in with a new offer. I, I don't see a lot of conflict with this person. Yeah, there you go. World card in reverse. There's not a lot of conflict. This person is coming in with a different ang at a different angle. They're communicating with you, clear and concise communication. They're being honest with you. It's something that they need to get off of their chest. To be honest, this person is working very hard at this. There could be some type of traveling that's happening here. Someone could be working hard to travel to someone or to move forward with this situation. I feel like whatever you were paying attention to prior to this, like if you distracted yourself, it's like, okay, it's done. You're pulling your energy back from whatever you were distract whatever you were distracting yourself with to get this person off your mind and you're going back in. Ten of ten of cups. Man, listen, you got the eight, not you got the eight in reverse, the nine in reverse, the two in reverse, but then you have the ten of cups upright. This is your person. This person makes you extremely happy. This could be your husband or your wife here. But you already know it's time to manifest and move forward. You didn't expect this. Or maybe this person did not expect that you were an empress. Minnesota, you were an empress. They didn't expect you to be who you were. So maybe they didn't really. So if this person didn't give their A game at one point or another. If you didn't give your A game with this person. It's because they didn't see who you were. Now someone sees who you are. You see who someone else is. And you're like, okay, let's see. Maybe someone had a problem with being in the streets, especially with sacred lusts and soul forgiveness. Maybe this person had a problem with having options, like a person was a player. They couldn't see who you were. They weren't doing right by you. You got 11 here twice. That's master numbers, twice. Um, someone very spiritually in tune. Someone's very close with God or earth angel here. So someone could be very promiscuous and in the streets and active and so on and so forth.
Mm. Hey, you wanna clean your act up? See what else is coming in for you, Aquarius. Let me go back one, one more time with that one because it was a lot of cards that was trying to pop. Confused and chasing. Yeah, someone wants to change something. Always partying. Yeah. Someone's always partying, always hanging out, always trying to live their way, their life in a certain way. But they want to be a part of your life, but they just can't figure out how to. How, it's, it's like they're not where they need to be when it comes to you, but they're trying to figure out how to get there. All right. Astral traveling. You could be having a lot of out of body experiences. All right. That you, that could happen when you sleep. Right. Going to different realms. Um, seeing certain things, seeing people that's familiar, seeing things that happen in your life, um, and, and while you're sleeping, you know, that's astral traveling, uh, skeletons, all right, secrets are about to be revealed, okay, you're fired, all right, so someone could be walking away from someone, you could be walking away from this person, like this person just isn't valuing you. Something is going to come out and you may walk away from somebody. Talking issue, talking issues in reverse. So it's kind of like, you're like, I don't even care. You're, you're leaving on and you're not even entertaining them. But they want you back. You will grow from this situation. So this is one that you will ascend from. Um, as long as you do all of the things that are supposed to be done. Breaking point is in reverse, Okay. So it's kind of like, you're like, I can handle it. It is what it is, but breaking point is in reverse. You just like, to be an earth angel, it's like you're seeing this situation from a, as a learning experience. Okay, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So jackpot, there's, um, there's a large sum of money that's coming into you. Head in the cloud, someone is very big on thinking, threatening, okay, intimidated, um... Intimidating, threatened, and bothered, okay? Someone is very bothered, in their head, overthinking, stress, overanalyzing, okay? Head in the cloud. Somebody is really in their head about a situation here. Same, ish, different day. So someone just wants to party, be out, extra triggered. Someone is being ignored, okay? So someone is in their head mad, and the other person is ignoring them, like, hey. Someone's getting bad karma, will have bad karma. Something significant about Halloween, that October that could be someone's birthday or that could be when something happened also I'm hearing witchy at the same time okay someone is mimicking everything that you do all right blackmail someone is getting blackmailed all right child services kids at risk of being taken or about to be reporting something or abuse ain't ish 